What's happening, brothers? Welcome to another episode of Nate's Chocolate Combo. I'm Nate. This is the only podcast where building the man is the business. First things first, let's give God his prayer. Our Father, which are in heaven, once again, we come to you boldly with a repentance heart of omission, commission, words and deeds and thoughts unknown and known, past, present, and future. Thank you, Lord, for once again blessing us to be alive and well in your presence. In Jesus' name we pray, amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. Excuse us, though. Gum swollen a little bit, so bear with me. I'm going to make this as clear as possible. As clear as possible. I wish I could um, speak more clearly, but my gums are swollen a little bit. It's going down a little bit, but still swollen. So bear with me. But listen, women, especially black women, there is an evolution coming to America in the dating game is an evolution and the evolution is it's tranny time it's tranny time I've been seeing this all over the city men with full beards holding hands with other men with full beards, but one have on a wig and a halter top. Built masculine men. Built master, masculine men. Walking the streets, holding hands, kissing, hugging. Why is that? I'll tell you why. Because the homosexual politicians listen, pay attention. The homosexual politicians made a deal with the feminist community, which is mostly lesbian women. That this is what we're gonna do. We'll give you a certain amount of money and rights to separate heterosexual men and women, which we know now as the gender wars. We're gonna put money through these movies, through social media. Reality TV shows, music, videos, to get into the psyche of a woman's mind. To make her see men not only as competition, but as their enemies. Thus, the gender war, which is over now, because men pretty much either opt out of dating or go on to another country. And the next evolution is, it's tranny time. going to see hear me ladies especially sisters hear me, hear me well you're going to see more and more masculine men with other men that look like women I see it now they're walking around, they're driving it's not a whole lot of them, but they're coming out more they're driving, they're walking around they're in restaurants gas stations they are all over because the agenda has been set and now it is in motion. And you're gonna see more and more men like me, masculine men, 
talk, walk, think, act like a man with other men. Question is, where does that leave you? Especially you good sisters, you good women, and you good sisters that still want to date and marry and have a family with masculine men. Especially the, the generations coming up now. The 18 year olds and 21 year old women coming up now. Where does, does that leave you? Leave you by yourself. The Bible talks about that. Seven women to one man. I gotta find that scripture. Seven women to one man. Seven women to one man. It's happening now. This thing is real. This thing is real. And all the women that fell into the feminist movement, I don't need a man, I don't want a man. You have just been played. They played you. They lied to you. You are in big trouble. Big trouble. Not, not speaking against the homosexual men and the lesbian women. That's their lifestyle. They do what they want to do. That's on them. I'm just telling you, as a heterosexual woman, you have a problem that's happening now that, that, is, that is going to grow like a fungus. It's going to get bigger and worse for you. Because we as human beings, we have to be around each other. We have to interact with other human beings. Men and women are made to be around each other. To talk, to speak, and cohabitate with each other. So as a man, if I cannot speak to you, be around you, date you, do business, business with you, then I'll be by myself. But if I have the option, of doing something else, I'm going to at least check into it. If you don't believe me, go to O'Shea, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Go to him, go, go to his YouTube channel and look up men dating men because of past relationships. Type that in on your YouTube, on your um, search engine. It should pop up. It's happening now. It's happening now. The other other evolution is men going overseas. But the men going overseas is happening right now. That's not a gender that was pushed. That's men being problem solvers. If I can't get what I want here in the States, I'll go somewhere else. That's a byproduct of the agenda. They don't care about that. Go. What they care about is more men who are heterosexual dating men who are gay. The government pushed that. The government pushed that. It's tranny time. It's tranny time. Oh my God, you're gonna see, oh what a sight, you're gonna see men with other men with dresses on, weaves, fingernail polish, lipstick, Lip gloss, eyeshadow, mascara, the whole nine yards. And you can look at it, look at him and tell, this is a masculine man. But well, why are you with him? And not speaking against the transgender, the LGB, the LG, the alphabet community, not speaking against them. I'm just telling you women that still want to be with a man, this is what's going to happen. This is the next evolution in dating. All across the board, especially especially in the black community. That's all what I'm saying. It's happening now. Prepare for it. You can't stop it. It has been set in motion. It's about getting real in the field. It's about getting real in the field. Because two men cannot produce a family. They can adopt, but cannot produce a family. 
is that two women cannot produce a child. Where does that leave humans? It's tranny time. Don't be surprised when you go and you see a billboard that says it's raining men, hallelujah. And it's saying, and, and, and you can hear the music playing through speakers. Don't be surprised. It's happening now. You fell into the trap, you took the bait. The bait was poison. Now your system is poison. And, and only God himself can get you out of this situation, can get the poison out of your system. Because even as I speak right now, there are women going, shut up, you know what you're talking about. That ain't gonna happen, please. As good as I look, you don't see all these de um, people in my DMs? No, I don't, because I don't have your IG, so I don't see that. I'm just telling you what I see in real time, what's happening around the city, and what's going to happen in other cities right now as we speak. Oh, by the way, the monkey pox didn't come out of nowhere. They're saying the monkey pox is coming from the gay community. That's what they say on the news, especially black gay men. That's what they said. Think about that one. It did not come from the gay community. It came from a lab. That's a lie. What, they, what they're trying to do is they're trying to get people to separate themselves from the gay community and the gay community to separate themselves from the heterosexual community so they can see who's who, who's who and what is what. So now we can manipulate even more now. So they put that lie out there. In Atlanta, is a city where mostly gay men and women is at. Monkeypox was created in a the lab. There's a gender behind that too also. That ties in to what I'm saying now about it's tranny time. You're gonna see more heterosexual men with trannies. Again, not speaking against the gay community, I'm just telling whoever watching this, this is the next evolution in dating. It's happening now, whether you believe it or not. Open your eyes and see what I see. Ooh. Sorry. It is what it is. It is what it is. I just want to put that out there for your sisters, for your women in general. If you have any type of faith in God, believe in God to send you the right man for you, much blessing. The women that, that still don't believe, you will believe when you see it. And when you see it, it's gonna be too late. That's it. Click like, subscribe to this channel, share these videos. Receive this info, as always, apply it, and you will see a difference. As always, one, two, peace.